Hi, in this video today, I would like to show you the full steps to uninstall Microsoft SQL Server 2022, completely is on Windows 11. Okay, so now let's get started. You open the control panel on the window PC, and then in the control panel window, you click on the uninstall a program, and here you scroll it down to find the Microsoft SQL Server 2022, here, this one, and then click on the uninstall change button. A new pop-up will be display. You click on the remove button. Yeah. On this step, you click on next button. In here, you select the Microsoft SQL Server database and then services option, and then click on next button. Next step, click on remove button. And let's wait for the removal process in executing. Yeah, so for now, the removal process has been completed with no issue. We have owned of the feature had been removed successfully. So now let's close this one. And I will try to refresh this and then scroll it down to see if we still have any instance of the SQL Server on this PC. And here we have some other instance of the SQL Server. Let me try to uninstall this one, complete and refresh this one. And the next step, I will remove the Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio tool. This one is the graphic user interface, which will help me to interact with the core engines of the SQL Server database. Yeah, so the Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio tool also removed successfully on this window PC. Let's click on close button. So now, I will try to refresh this one one more time and try to find if we still have any instance of the SQL Server in the program and features. Yeah, so for now it seems we have no instance of the SQL Server. And let's open a window folder. Basically, after we install the Microsoft SQL Server on the Windows PC, it will set up a folder for the Microsoft SQL Server on the C drive programs file. And here we have the Microsoft SQL Server folder. And inside this folder, we still have some other folder here. It contains some log, some job you already perform in the system. So you can go ahead, try to delete this folder. Yeah, it had been deleted. Okay, so one more step to make sure that you already remove the SQL Server completely on the window 11 here. I will open the registry to see it. I will open the window run and type in regedit, enter. So here, you click on the add key local machine here. You find the software node, the Microsoft, and you scroll it down here to see the folder. It relates to the SQL Server. I scroll it down to find the this one, Microsoft SQL Server. Yeah, and I will go ahead to right click on this and click on delete button. And I will find as a folder, add key current user. You go to the software. The same, I will try to scroll it down to find some of the folder related to the SQL Server. And maybe it's on some other PC, you cannot find any other folder, but on some other PC, you can find the folder. So here on this PC, we have the Microsoft folder. Scroll it down to find the Microsoft folder. Here we have the SQL Server management tool. I will delete some key here. You may also find some other folder for the SQL Server under this folder. Okay, that's all. And we have just complete to uninstall or remove all of the instance of the SQL Server on the Windows 11. And then you also know how to clean up and delete all of the keys in the registries editor. So the last step, you should try to restart the Windows PC. And after that, you're done. All of the instance of the SQL Server 2022 on the Windows 11 have been removed successfully. I hope this video will have one for you. Let me know if you have any issue. Thank you and see you guys in the next video.
video 